this is your boy Dan, aka A Drive, with my lovely wife Danny, aka A Drive. A brand guys, episode 27 of the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Love a Lock. If you guys are hyped for this episode, show your love of that like button down below. And definitely make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. Danny, where are we? We're in our house. We are in our house. This is the second video ever being filmed in the new house. We've got new lighting, new microphone, a lot of new stuff. So I apologize if things look weird or sound weird. Everything should be relatively good, but uh, we're still tweaking things, so kind of bear with us. Working out some kinks. Working out some, some little details there, but this is the, the first video we're filming in the new place. It's the first yeah. episode of Love Live. You want to get a little closer? We're still trying to... I wondering trying to if this work. would go up so I could oh, slide I could, under it. I could, uh, Does it go up anymore? I could make it slide forward, maybe. No? Oh, I, I mean, can, I could come loop behind you. I don't think it goes up, though. I think we'll... Have okay, we'll do that. So, anyway, so what we're going to be doing on this episode is continuing, obviously. So you could uh, kind of come this way. Uh, right. Yep. And we got we got one of the greatest questions of the day ever. So let's talk about it. So Danny... Where are you going? You're just know. breaking into this old man's house? Uh, so Danny is... This is an understatement, but Danny absolutely loves pumpkin-flavored foods. Where are you? I just kind of just go all the way to the right and then jump down the ledges, and then there's like a little staircase. Because there were people over there that looked important. Yeah, just, stick, just ignore them. They're lame. Um... <laughs> And then just come to the beach, and then come up here, and then we'll talk to this guy. Hey, team three, there Oops. we can't read. Wilmer, okay. This guy's just telling us that we need to get out of here. So anyway, Danny is a huge, huge fan of pumpkin flavored foods, and it is pumpkin season. You can surf. You can surf. It is indeed pumpkin season. So this is Danny's. Uh, this is Danny's time of the year. So why don't you tell him a little bit about? Uh, what going? kind of, in the little cave right there, what kind of pumpkin flavored foods do you like the most? Well, my favorite pumpkin thing is Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin iced coffee. Danny runs on Dunkin'. This is a really cool Dunkin'. scene here. Look how cool this, look how cool that looks. Which side do you think is cooler? My, like, waterfall side or your, like, magma tube side? Um, as much as I'm not, like, a, like, I actually, like, hate fire, I think my side probably looks cooler because of like the tubes and stuff, you know. I bet you, temperature-wise, it's definitely not cooler though. Yeah, you you're right. You're I know, right. I know. I usually am. Um, so you like pumpkin? Uh, so this, oh yeah. So this is gonna be tricky because we have. We're, are we reverse? I think so. Okay, I can I, work this. Let's go on the first one though, because it's right mirror, there. Mirror, mirror image. I think this is like how you. Oh, there's a pokeball. So I'll take that. Oh, there's a pokeball. How, so I'll take how come it. you got a trainer? Oh, but I have a person. I don't think they'll battle you though. We both got a nugget. You can talk to him if you want. Hey, dude. Hot. The magma flowing is hot. Oh, okay. So there you go. So that's, that's that. So bumpkin iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Bumpkin. Bumpkin. Pumpkin. Um, also, their, their pumpkin muffins are really good. Pumpkin muffins. Um, yeah, that's right. You had pumpkin muffins and pumpkin iced I've coffee had their the pumpkin... other day. You can battle that trainer. I've had their pumpkin maybe donuts the before. Maybe there's a trainer up top there. I don't know. Maybe he's a trainer. There you go. I've had their pumpkin donuts before. Um, we're actually talking with my mom before about all the, the pumpkin flavored things she's gotten me through the years because I've always loved pumpkin since I was introduced to it. Um, she's gotten me pumpkin mini wheats, which pumpkin were ballin'. They were so good. Um, I had pumpkin tea today. Hot tea, hot pump. Um, can I use my strawberry? Yeah, sure. What should I use? Uh, well, coughing is what type? Poison. Okay, so what's good against poison? Um, psychic. There you go. I just guessed. That. Well, you get, um, <laughs> don't guess anymore. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so yeah, I had my pumpkin tea earlier. Um. I had this amazing pumpkin. <laughs> I'm kicking my foot with excitement. He's like, stop it. Stop kicking. No more kicking. You had this amazing pumpkin. I had this Just a whole pumpkin. Amazing pumpkin cookie at the Big E like two years ago when I went with my dad. And I'll never forget it. It was pumpkin and had chocolate chips in it and it had this maple like maple icing drizzle on it and was so good. If you guys don't know what the Big E is, it's uh, the Big oh, Eastern. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we have a global audience. Uh, <laughs> it, it's the Big Eastern. So basically in the Northeast of the United States, they have the Big E every year. Uh, and uh, it's basically like, they kind of represent all the Northeastern states there. A lot of times they'll have food from the different states. So like I, we, we're from Connecticut. So like if you go to the Connecticut, like 
little house they have there on display. It's really cool. It's like this huge, huge, like, I don't know. I don't want to call it like a, a lot fair. Of Pez it's like more of a fair, yeah. So fun Pez. Fun fact, Pez were made in Connecticut as Even were more fun Legos. fact, Legos. Yep, Legos. So some pretty cool stuff there at the Big E. So if you're ever in the Northeast of the U.S., around, uh, what is it, usually October, November, something like that? September. Is it September? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't think we're going this year, nah, but um, either way, it's cool. It's cool to do like once or twice. Uh, it gets boring after a while, but too many people for me. A lot of people. That, the best part of that whole thing was the cookie and a lot of animals in small cages. Ugh. Yeah, I hate that. It breaks my heart. All right, so for me, pump. I don't know if you're done. Can I interject on your pumpkin stuff? Yeah, you, sure. You're still going because I know you can go for hours. So uh, about pumpkins. So. <laughs> All right. Oh wow, you have two trainers in the same room. I only got one. This is gonna be. This is this is where we break off from each other here, hon. I don't I don't know how much I can assist now. I'll try to go find another trainer in the meantime. But uh, oh, I think I just went the exact same way. Maybe there is a second trainer, and I just went the wrong way. I wasn't. So am I gonna be fighting fire types through this whole place? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so I should probably. Oh, there is a second trainer for me. Okay, I should I stand probably corrected. put Guppy in front. Yeah, Guppy will probably be totally good. Or what can I use against yeah, this? Uh, you could just use Dragon Breath or Mist Ball, either one. Um, Dragon Breath because you have more of them. Um. So for me, my pumpkin, I, I mean, I like pumpkin flavored things, right? But I'm not like super crazy about it. But then last year to make Danny happy, actually, I think it was Verlissify who told me about these uh, pumpkin flavored oh, like yeah. ice cream sandwiches or whatever. And oh yeah, so that's what it was. So me and Verlissify had done a challenge last year where we did these, uh, these super hot chips or whatever. Remember we did that chip thing? I don't remember what it was, but they were these like really hot chips that they, they came out with and they only had them at Trader Joe's. So, and they were like covered by the news or whatever. They weren't even that hot. They were pretty hot, but um, anyway, so we went to, uh, I went to Trader Joe's and I saw this huge stand of all this pumpkin stuff. So me being me and knowing that Danny loves pumpkins, I was like, oh, I gotta get some pumpkin stuff. So Everlistify told me I had to get these little pumpkin sandwiches too. So I had to, had to try those out, but I tried pumpkin like uh, tortilla chips. Those yeah, are pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are really those. good. Um, what was the, there was I something else. I thought they got a salsa with them. Yes, a pumpkin flavored salsa uh, to go with yeah, it. Yeah, that was fun. That was good. So stop banging on the floor. So. <laughs> Our new place doesn't have the foot rest that his desk We're gonna used get to a have. My feet like almost don't touch the floor. All right, so go to the go to the right. Well, which way did you come in? You came in that way, didn't you? No, go down. Go down. Is there a panel? Yeah, hit that panel because we got it. We're we're going in what symmetry here. What about those here. stairs? We're gonna go back. We're going on symmetry first. All right, so I'm pretty sure you can sleep in these beds. So if you want to heal up, just talk to the bed. There you go. All set there. And I don't think these trainers bad at you. I think this is like their little lounge area. So lots of cool pumpkin stuff. Anyway, so part of the reason, I'm, I'm going to be guilty here, and I told Dan this over dinner. Part of the reason I asked this as the question of the day was to give Danny ideas for cool pumpkin things to try this pumpkin season. So now we can go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you that part or no? Yeah, I think you did. I oh yeah, that was that was, was definitely like, like one of my motivational factors there. So there's a no go to the other side. There's a little pokeball down here. There's a trainer, but only half these trainers battle us, I guess. I don't know if they're. Yeah, I'm I'm slacking off. That's what they said. They're like a sl a slack off. Um. All right. <laughs> anyway, so let's battle this one. So we're even though the the hideouts are different, we're somewhat in symmetry here, so we're able to make this work. We, we can we can go we can go slowly here. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comment section below kind of what uh, what pumpkin flavored things you guys are eating this season. Uh, I don't know if that's is like pumpkin like a an everything every everywhere kind of thing. Like if you go to Florida right now, do they do they have pumpkins at this time of year? Yes, because Duncan releases it seasonal like everywhere. Pumpkin All right, so, is a fall thing. All right, so let's discuss types here. Mighty Anna is what type? Dark. Okay, dark is good against psychic. So I need to switch. Uh, I mean, because you're such a high level, you could probably just dragon breath it and you'll be fine. But I'm just, I'm just telling you the types. Well, how good is it? Like, is there any chance, any move? You're you not gonna do? get knocked out in one hit. Okay, now. then I'll just dragon breath him. Maybe two, but not in one. So I'm gonna, we're gonna start getting you, getting you acclimated here with these types. We're gonna, we're gonna go over types every time. There's just so many of I them. I know, I know, I know. There's a lot of types, but we gotta, we gotta and get you prepared. They don't make sense. We gotta get you prepared for the elite four. If we can make it that far. Oh wow, you just destroyed that thing. Um, almost anyway. Almost. You doing all right over there? You, you look like you're doing fine. You went for scary face, so that lowers your speed. Taunt is a move that uh, makes so you have to attack them, which sounds dumb, but in competitive, it's a good move. So, so pumpkins are everywhere. Yeah, like Florida, everything. I mean, I guess, I guess it fits the whole Halloween thing, right? So, that kind of makes sense to me. Right, I'm gonna go talk to the scientist here and see what happens. Oh, do I have to battle him? 
<laughs> now you know about home. This machine is uh, made for ir irradiating a mediator. A meteor. I can't speak. So um, I think there's people over here, right? Oh no, is on. that where we came from? So let's go on this panel first. Is that the one I just was looking at? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And it, so this is like there's a bunch of rooms, so we're gonna have to try to make sure we get all of them because one of them has a master one. It's a spooky so, ball back there. Yeah, is I just went your other one. Yeah. And then I, let's talk to that guy here. I think he battles you. No, maybe he doesn't battle you. Him? He? Why would he battle? I don't know. He's a scientist. But so these are the suits right here: the aqua suit and the magma suit. So those are they're very important. We may need those one day. But uh, let's go on this panel here. Where's this gonna take me? Okay. Yeah, try that one. Yeah, try that one. I think that's the same one. It might be the other side though. And then just run straight across. Do you have a door like that? No. Oh, no, so so you're not, uh, actually go, oh yeah, grab that Pokeball, that's fine. I'm trying to like make sure we go do all the same things, but I think like we went backwards, so it's fine though. So just, you could leave now that room and I'll go back. And I think we'll just end up doing it the opposite way. But we definitely want to make sure we go to the, the what's room. what's this door? Nothing, can't go in there. Lame. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Okay, so I do have now... a door. Uh, I'll leave on the other side right there. Yep, so it's just flipped. And now you can go down the pathway and you can get the Dark Pulse TM, which is actually a good move. Uh, Dark Pulse would be a good move for uh, potentially, I don't, uh, I don't know. This isn't where you were. It was, but there's just no TM there. That's weird. Okay, well, I don't know why they don't give you a TM, but that's fine. They don't like me. Maybe it's hidden somewhere else, I don't know. That's weird. Okay, so now once you get back to this room, we will go this way. Now go down. I was looking to see if there was any other nah. things. All right, I'm gonna battle this chick over here. Do I have... No, other way. I think if you go up now, yeah, there's the trainer. Battle that person. There you go. All right, we're making progress here. How you feeling? Good. Hanging in there? Trying to get through Team Aqua and Team Magma's hideout. Very, very scary stuff. Okay, I'm going to make sure I don't get destroyed by this caravana. And you got to I keep forgetting to change out my strawberry. strawberry. I mean, she's funny. Okay, so he's poison, which means psychic. Mm hmm. Like the coughing. Yep. So, a lot of the times, like, you can kind of figure out what Pokemon types are by the trainer class too. So we're facing Team Aqua and Team Magma, so they typically are going to either carry fire types. In your game. Well, that's what I assumed, but. Or psychic, or uh, poison types. That's what they've been But how does have. that, like, line up? Poison? Mm hmm. To the fire. Well, so it's like basically all the evil teams in Pokemon typically have poison types, like Team Rocket does, things like that. So, yeah, don't learn Embargo. Not a good move. I wish Embargo. So, Embargo is a move or an item that uh, basically makes so held items don't work. And I'm kind of speaking to the audience here, but. Um, Unfortunately, I feel like they should have buffed Embargo to make it so Mega Evolutions couldn't happen. That would be cool, in my opinion. Oh, you weren't talking to me just now? <laughs> oh, did you not get that? Buffed me. <laughs> oh, did you, you're, you're ahead of me right now? I don't know. What is going on? Energy supply, okay, snack, okay. Trainer in my way, okay. All right, I'm gonna battle you too. Let's battle Team Aqua Lady. I can't believe you got Dark Falls and I didn't. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it just shows up somewhere else in the hideout. It's weird. It's not like a big deal. I don't even think anything on your team gets it. I don't have any dark types, right? Or is it a ghost? No. Is it's a dark move. Here? Yeah, it's a dark move. Oh, you gotta switch. But you could just use... It's a low level. You could just attack it. It's not a big deal. Alright, I'm gonna just see what happens here. This I'm, is where you told me to use drag. Yeah, because actually... So, Psychic doesn't actually do anything to dark types at all. It does no damage. Oh. Okay. It's immune. It's an immunity. I keep meaning to put Guppy in the front, and I forget every time. But That's all right. Looks like uh, Strawberry is uh, holding it down, so I think you'll be okay. I'm trying to get Ninja trained up here, even though Ninja's kind of like the low man on the total. Oh, did your Casper just learn embargo? That's what it was. That's why that came up. Mine's a little bit behind yours, and you could just beat the gold bat. All right. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna go ahead for just a second, just to see. Oops. Where we're supposed to this okay, so this is the room I was waiting to go to so I'll show you um, This room isn't important for the storyline, but it's important for the this is Miss ball I can use right yeah 
we want to get the, I think the Master Bowl's in here. I think. I don't know. It's been a while, but I think so. Master Ball. Yeah, that means you can throw it at any Pokemon and you'll automatically catch it. I want the one in the sky. Oh, that's that's the that's the Delta episode. The Rayquaza? Yeah, we'll no, see. No, not Rayquaza. The oh, ooh, Deoxys? Yeah, that one. Oh, did you ever catch Deoxys or no? Mm-hmm. You did? She? She's a, she's a Pokemon champion over here. All right, so go down, like, to the right and then down. Then we're going to go on that one. Uh. All right. So I'm going to need you to follow me very closely here, okay? We're going to go left side. But what if they're different? Just follow me. It's all good. Okay, middle. All right, right side. Okay, so I totally am winging it. All right, let's, let's, uh, oh, so go down and then all the way to the right. It's backwards. Okay, and go to the last one. Yeah, I got it for you. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so you're in the right room. So, um, and I'm gonna be in the right room in a second. Okay, so in the back corner, two of those are Pokeballs for Pokemon, and the other two you're gonna find out in a second. I guess you just found out. I'm gonna go and use my man Gecko right now. What should I use? Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you right now, this is an Electrode. Uh, all it's gonna do is explode, probably. So I think the best way to handle it, like, if you Mega Evolve and just go for Luster Purge, I don't think he's, I Hold think. On. What? Why Lily's barking. Lily barking? I, I don't know. Okay. I'm sure she'll be okay there. Um, she's in her room. Something that she could bark about. Uh, so Mega Evolve and just go for a Dragon Breath. Maybe it won't explode, but you'll be able to live in Explosion anyway. It's an Electrode. They're not very strong. Um, Doesn't exploding mean it's, it's gone? Mm-hmm. So it may just explode and kill itself. Or it may attack. I don't know. That's no fun. Oh, it's not even an explosion, it's self-destruct, which does the same thing, but it's it's not as strong. Yeah, that does nothing. That was embarrassing. I'm surprised that, I'm sorry I even talked about it. Oh, you know what we could have done so now? You don't even get to catch it? Oh, no, you don't. It's genderless anyway, so we wouldn't oh. wouldn't have been useful. I was just gonna say we should catch it, but I just realized they are genderless. So real no point there. Uh, so you can just go for the other ones. Uh, so one of them is an electrode, and the other one is the Pokeball. I don't know which is which, but... Or the other one is the item. I'm gonna guess that this one is the Master Ball. Yeah! Alright, well you guessed correctly, so there you go. Because it was hidden by, by a Pokemon. So, yeah, you can choose to just leave the last one there. Alright, cool, so we've done a lot of the things we gotta do. Let's let's book it out of here. We're making good progress here. We're, we're, we're kinda chugging through this, uh... Well, now I'm gonna wait. Oh, just step on the middle one. It'll take you right back to the beginning. Oh. Yeah, that's how they get you. Oh, maybe it won't. Well, just kind of go on random ones until it puts you at the beginning. Eventually, it'll put you there. It's worrying me that she's barking. It's okay. It'll, she'll be fine. Um, all right, so we're going to go, yep, that one. And then up and, yep, you just go all the way up and to the left. Okay, now there's some more trainers. We're going to take them on. What do we got? We got... I feel like I'm gonna give Blueberry some action here. Did you ever switch the first Pokemon on your part? You keep forgetting. I keep forgetting! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we'll do it this time. It's all good. Yeah, I've been saying that every time. Oh, I'll remind time. you after this battle. It's You'll click one attack and you'll be good. So I got a Numal, or you got a Numal, I got a Caravana. Do I need to switch out? No, you just click uh, Dragon Pulse. You're good. What? Dragon Pulse. Dragon, <laughs> Dragon Pulse. Rest. All right, I'm gonna remind you this time though. You gotta change your Pokemon. Change your Pokemon. Change your Pokemon. Change your Pokemon. All right, I definitely recommend changing your Pokemon though. This time. I'm even gonna change my Pokemon. Bam, changed it. Cool. See, told you I'd remember or remind you this time. Uh oh, things are about to go down. Yeah, Guppy's good. Wendy is so weak. Yeah, mine is too, but it'll catch up with the experience here. All right, here we go. Look at that. Look at that little cool scene there. Wait, how'd you get? Oh. There's a staircase right there. Oh. Look at that. Boom. All right, let's go down. And now, 
It's a five on one battle. I hope you're Five ready. on one? Five on one. So Let's five of my Pokemon are gonna be there? No, just one, you'll see. It's, it's really easy. So you know how there's hordes in the game where you can counter five wild Pokemon at the same time? Um. So this is five trainers at the same time, but the Pokemon <laughs> are really low leveled, so it's really easy. In fact, we might don't, like, I think I'll click one one attack and knock them all out at once. Surf. Thinking. That's what I'm gonna do, yeah. Guppy has Surf, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think if I, that's why I was, that's why I switched to this guy. I figured I probably could just click Surf. We got puppies! Puppies everywhere! I think they're actually hyenas. Oh, uh, you don't have Surf. Try, uh, Rock Slide hits all, though, so you could use Rock Slide. I don't know if Muddy Water does. Yeah, I just knocked them all out. <laughs> Poor little Poochianas, man. They just got destroyed. I love when Guppy evolves. Ah! This is tough. Do I teach superpower to Romeo? Oh my god, I just threw so many rocks at these little pups. Then oh, look at them like dominoes. Because <laughs> it's a Nuzlocke, I'm going to delete Double Edge. So if you guys don't know, water and normal is like phenomenal coverage. Um but it's like really good neutral coverage, but I'm gonna add superpower simply because I don't wanna deal with that uh, HP drop. Although the attack defense drop isn't much better, but that's okay. So we took out Team Agua and Team Magma, and I think we just have the boss right around the corner here. That might be it. I think we're almost, we almost beat the hideout. I, I, I recall this hideout, oh, there's a Pokeball. Go get the, oh, you, you didn't get it. Oh no. It's only a max revive. I wouldn't be too stressed about it. You can get it now, so. Mr. Matt, oh, I knew you'd come. Ha ha ha. All right, I guess I have to battle him. You're the first punk ever to sneak into the side out and make it this far. I expect nothing less from a crumb like you, but I've got some bad news. We've already finished upgrading the ship. Look at that drill. As long as we've got that thing, we could KO the seal of the seafloor and cavern with one punch. Uh, we need to settle once and for all who's stronger. You and your sorry Pokemon are mine. All right, he's got a camera up. Are you ready for the camera up? Y'all ready for this? Down, down, down. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> All right, I think you know what to do here, right? Clearly, Mega Evolution is required. Are you and... being sarcastic? Yeah, I mean, if you just threw like a sprinkle of water at this thing, you'd knock it out, probably. I like to evolve. That's cool. I feel that we connect. Because I'm like, here, take the power from my bracelet. And Guppy's like, oh, yes, trainer, you're wonderful. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's exactly how it works in the game, too. Well, that was anticlimactic. Good job, Guppy. You put in the work there, buddy. I thought it was very climactic. I got to say, and this isn't uh, any knock. I mean, girls can be buff, too. But for a girl, you know, Guppy's pretty buff when it mega evolves. Oh, look at that synchronization there. I think we nailed it. Like, pretty close. Pretty close. That was good. That's It's always, like, fulfilling when that happens. All right. I only have one hope, so my bro Archie is everything to me. All right, then. You took me out, so I'll give you an idea what the world was like. So, Archie is headed to Lily Cove City, which is the next, uh, oh, no. No, what's it? Moss Deep City is the next city. All right, so you can go up and around. I, I want to say there's an item back here, but I could be wrong. Oh, there's a warp pad. And that'll take us out of here. We're right back to the beginning. There's the, the stairs at the bottom. Oh. There you go. And now we're out. Now we're in the in the clear. We're good to go. All right. I think this is a great spot for us to end the episode, guys. We made it through the entire Team Aqua and Team Magma hideout. I thought it was so cool to see both how the two uh, hideouts were like kind of together, like similar and, and different at the same time. Um... So we could just actually fly to the Pokemon Center is what I'm going to recommend. Because we don't really fly a whole lot, so we might as well use the fly fly option. So you just fly right back to the town. Fly to the same town we're at. Did you, you know, oh, you're good. Okay. Right? Don't I click on it? Yeah, just click Lily Cove. Yep. Fly. Cool. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know your thoughts on pumpkin-flavored foods. What kind do you like so Danny and I can get some new pumpkin-flavored stuff? And that's going to be it for us, guys. Thank you so much for watching. For myself and my lovely wife, Danny, we will catch you guys later. Peace. Peace.